and uh, today you talked about a lot about the self learning, right? Yeah. And also for us, the uh, the go players, we find us in some stroke very creative, mm. very unexpected. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think uh, in the near future, the independent learning mechanism will develop some kind of a independent motivation? Mm -hmm. Or the machine has the its own purpose mm -hmm. when it is computing something. Sure, yeah, it's a good question. I think for now, the kinds of systems we're designing, you always need to give them a goal. So you know, AlphaGo can't decide it wants to you know uh, drive a car or something, right? It it only knows um, the the goal that we give it, which is to win Go games. So I think for the foreseeable future, that's the way that AI systems will be designed as tools to achieve some objective that the designer specifies. Um, how it achieves that objective will maybe be learned by the machine. But uh, generally speaking, I think these systems um, will be trying to achieve some goal that we set. OK, so you think in the near future, uh, the machine always has achieved the goals, the human beings? Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing in AlphaGo that allows it to set its own goal. So, um, so it's, you know, you would have to design a different kind it of It is system. because you don't allow them, because you, you set them not to be able to do things for their own, their own things, or the machine does not have the ability to do that. Yeah, it's the second one. It's the, the, the type of system we're designing doesn't have that capability in it. So maybe you could think of a different designs where that could be possible. But we think they would be less useful for now because we want to build tools that will be useful for domains that uh, to help human experts. So we would like, uh, so if, if it's a tool, then you want the human expert to specify the objective. Um, so that's the kinds of systems that we're designing at the moment.